Hello students, welcome to Anne's classes. Let's do constructions, chapter 18. Page number 217. Now we're going to construct rectangles. Question 13. Construct a rectangle ABCD if in the first one we're being given AB and BC measurements. Now these are adjacent sides. So how do we construct a rectangle when we have adjacent sides given to us? So first let's draw a rough figure. So we have a rough figure. Let's name it as AB. Now and CD here, AB, CD. This is a rectangle. AB is 4.5 centimeters. So this side is smaller than the other side, BC, which is 5.5 centimeters. Now we know that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal and each angle is 90 degrees. So that means in that case, if this is 4.5 centimeters, the opposite side CD will also be 4.5 centimeters. In that case, again, 5.5 centimeters is BC, so the opposite side AD will also be 5.5 centimeters. And we also know that each angle is equal to 90 degrees. So if this is 90, this is also 90. All four angles here, each one is 90 degrees. Okay, so now we have our rough figure here. Based on this, let's construct the actual figure. First thing is we're going to construct the base AB is equal to 4.5 centimeters. So with the help of your ruler, draw a line AB which is 4.5 centimeters. So let's write this as AB 4.5 centimeters. Now we've been given BC 5.5 centimeters. Now how do we construct this? We can't simply construct 5.5 here. We need to have an intersecting point to get the exact measurement. So what we're going to do is we're going to construct an angle of 90 degrees at the point B. So let's see how to do it. Now first thing is we draw an arc. You can take any suitable radius on your compass, place a needle at B and draw an arc. And then we know how to construct 90 degrees, isn't it? So place your compass needle at this point of intersection here and Cut this main arc. This is your 60 degree point. From here, cut one more arc. All with the same radius measurement, we've got this. Now, this is 60 degrees. This is 120 degrees. In between these, you'll have a straight line that will be 90 degrees. So for that, we're going to place a compass needle at the 120 point and draw an arc here and place it at the 60 degree point and cut the arc. So let's get both the arcs. So we have one arc here and we have one more arc. Now this point of intersection, if we join it to B, we get a 90 degree line. So this is our 90 degree line. Now that we have the 90 degree line, we can construct BC 5.5 centimeters. Now how do we do that? Take your compass, measure 5.5 centimeters, place the needle at B, and draw an arc on this 90 degree line. So when you draw the arc, you get it here. Now this is 5.5 centimeters. So here, this point of intersection will be C. And the measurement here is 5.5 centimeters. So draw a line from B to C. So we have a line drawn from B to C and that is 5.5 centimeters. Now we need to get the other sides. We need to get AD is 5.5 centimeters. Again, we can't simply draw an arc here and just draw a line, isn't it? So what we're going to do is from C to D, we're going to draw 4.5 centimeters. So we have a point C. From there, you can draw 4.5 centimeters. Remember, we need to get a line here. So get your arc somewhere in this area. So from C, we're going to get 4.5 centimeters. From A, we are going to get 5.5 centimeters. So we will get two arcs. So let's do that. So now we have one arc that is from A. We have drawn an arc that is 5.5. Now since we need a line like this, we have drawn it in this area. Now from C, we are going to cut this arc. We are going to draw 4.5 centimeters. And with the help of your compass, do that. And now we have cut the arc. Now can you see we have the point of intersection which we are going to name as D. This point of intersection is D. Now we can join C, D and A, D. Let's do that. So here we have draw, joined C, D. Now let's join A, D. 
Now can you see we have a rectangle A, B, C, D. So this is how you construct a rectangle when two adjacent sides are given. So A, B, C, D is the required rectangle. Construct a rectangle A, B, C, D if this time a side has been given and a diagonal has been given. So how do we construct a rectangle when a side and a diagonal are given? So first the rough figure. So let's write A, B, C, D here. So this will be A, B, C and D. And we've been given the measurement of A, B which is 5.0 centimeters. That is 5 centimeters. So we know the opposite sides are equal. So a, B and C, D are 5 centimeters each. Now we've been given A, C is 6.7 centimeters. So A and C, that is the diagonal. Let's draw the diagonal. So A, C is 6.7 centimeters. So this we know, 6.7 centimeters. Now this much we've been given. Let's also remember that these are 90 degree angles. So now let's begin our construction of the main rectangle. First thing is we're going to draw the base AB is equal to 5 centimeters. So we have the line AB and let's write mark it as AB and this is 5 centimeters. Now what we're going to do is since we need to have a diagonal and only that measurement is given, we can't simply draw a line here, isn't it? We, we don't know exactly where it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to construct a 90 degree angle at B just like we did in the previous case. So all of you know the construction of 90 degrees by now, isn't it? So let's go through it quickly. So we have an arc, then we have the first arc, 60 degree mark, then we have the 120 mark, then we get two more arcs to get the 90 degree mark, and this is a 90 degree line. Now that we have the 90 degree line here, we can draw our diagonal. So we're going to take our compass, take 6.7 centimeters on it, Place it at the point A. So place it at the point A and draw an arc which will touch the 90 degree line. So here we've got an arc from here. We've drawn from A. We've got an arc here and this is 6.7 centimeters. So that point of intersection between the arc and the 90 degree line is C. So this is C. Now join AC. So we have got our diagonal AC. Now let's go back to the rough figure. From C, D, it is 5 centimeters. So let's do that. So place your compass needle at C, take a measurement of 5 centimeters and draw an arc. Since we're getting a rectangle, we need to draw an arc somewhere in this area. So let's draw that arc. So we have an arc drawn there. Now we need to draw one more arc from A. From A, we need to draw an arc, but we don't have the measurement of A, D. Isn't it? So what we do is we take this measurement. BC is already drawn here. So we place our compass needle at B and we take the measurement up to C. So move the legs of your compass in such a way that the distance is BC. Now placing it at A, we can cut this arc. So we have cut it now. So now we have a point of intersection and that point of intersection is D. Now we can join C, D and a, D. So we have joined C, D. We have joined A, D. So now let's write down all the measurements. So this is 5 centimeters. This is 6.7 centimeters. That is the diagonal. So this is what we've been given and we have constructed our rectangle A, B, C, D based on the measurements given. That is the measurement of one side and one diagonal. So A, B, C, D is the required rectangle. In question 3, we are going to construct a rectangle ABCD such, such that each diagonal is 6 cm and the angle between them, between the diagonals is 45 degrees. So let's draw a rough figure. Now we have to remember that the diagonals of a rectangle are equal. Now this is a rectangle. Now why have we drawn it in this way? We have drawn it in this way because we are going to take the diagonal as the base. That means if I start naming A from here, A, B, C and D, then the diagonal A, C. This is a diagonal A, C and this is going to be our base. So diagonal A, C is 6 centimeters. 
Now we can draw one more diagonal and the diagonals of a rectangle are equal. So this is also 6 centimeters. Now here it says the angle between them is 45 degrees. That means this angle should be 45 degrees in your main figure. So now based on this, we're going to construct our actual rectangle. Now first thing we're going to do is draw the base AC and that is 6 centimeters. So with the help of your ruler, draw the base, get the exact measurement. AC is 6 centimeters. Now we need to locate the midpoint of AC because the two diagonals bisect each other and at this point we are going to construct 45 degrees. So we need to get the midpoint of AC. Now how do we get the midpoint of AC? Now take your compass, place the needle of the compass at C and take a measurement of more than half of this line AC. That is half of this line is 6 centimeters. So little uh, half is 3 centimeters. The actual measurement is 6. Half will be 3. So take a little more than that around 4 centimeters. So on your compass take 4 centimeters. Place the needle of the compass at C. Draw an arc above AC and below AC. So let's do that. So for keeping it here we've got one arc above AC and we've drawn one arc below AC. Using the same measurement, keep your compass needle at A and cut this arc which is above AC and cut the arc which is below base AC. So here we have cut the arc. Here also we have cut the arc. Now the point of intersection, we have to join both the points and we get our perpendicular bisector. So this is the perpendicular bisector and this has found the point in the middle the middle point of AC and let's name that as O. So this point is O and this angle now here we need to construct 45 degree angle after drawing the main arc and the different steps to construct 45 degrees. So we know how to construct an angle of 45 degrees that is we have to bisect this 90 degree angle. Now this is a perpendicular bisector which has cut this line AC. That means the angle formed here is 90 degrees. We need to get half of that. So what are we going to do? We're going to draw one main arc by placing our compass needle at O. We're going to draw an arc here. So we have an arc drawn. Now placing your compass needle at this point of intersection of this arc on line AC draw an arc. Now remember half of 90 will be somewhere in the middle. So you're going to draw an arc which comes here somewhere in the middle. So let's keep our compass needle here and draw an arc. So we've got an arc. Now keep that same measurement. This time place your compass needle at this point here. Point of intersection on the 90 degree line here or the perpendicular bisector and cut this arc. So now we have cut this arc. Now join that and O and extend it. So now we have joined it. We have extended that. So let's name that. So this can be P and this can be Q. Now the angle POC is 45 degrees. So POC is 45 degrees. So let's mark that also. So this angle here is 45 degrees because we have bisected the 90 degree angle. Now let's go to the rough figure. Now look at the rough figure here. We got AC 6 centimeters. We have all that already. We have 45 degrees which has already been marked. Now BD is also 6 centimeters. So we need to get 6 centimeters on this line PQ. Now how do we do that? You need to find half of 6 centimeters and half of 6 centimeters is 3 centimeters. That means OP Let's write that OP is equal to OQ and that is equal to 3 centimeters. That is each part is 3 centimeters. OP is 3 centimeters and OQ the side should be 3 centimeters. The marking that we are going to get now. It's not exactly OQ or exactly OP. The marking that we are going to get is going to be 3 centimeters. So take 3 centimeters on your compass. Place it at point O and draw an arc on P. Okay, so we have an arc on P. Now that is 3 centimeters from O 
and that is D. So let's mark this as D. This point of intersection is D. So now you can say OD is equal to, now on the other side also let's do that. So keep your compass a needle at O. You have three degrees already on your compass. Cut an arc on this line. So we have cut an arc on this line and this point of intersection is B. So we let's write B. So now we can say OD is equal to OB is equal to 3 centimeters. So this is the exact measurement. OD is equal to OB is equal to 3 centimeters. Now let's join all the points. We can join AB first. So we have joined AB. Now we can join BC. So we have joined BC, CD and DA. So now we have our rectangle here. A, B, C, D is the required rectangle and we have followed all this. We have 6 centimeters. This diagonal is 6 centimeters. This is also 6 centimeters and the angle between them is 45 degrees. So A, B, C, D is the required rectangle. We'll stop with that for now children. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you children.